This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz A220. There are two models. There's a uh, two-wheel uh, drive, front-wheel drive, starting at 32,500 and 34,500 for the all-wheel drive for Matic. This vehicle is propelled by 188 horsepower, two liter inline turbo four cylinder engine, produces 221 pound feet of torque. Seven speed automatic transmission, capable of zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Rides on 107.9 inch wheelbase. Cargo capacity is 8.6 cubic feet. It has four wheel independent McPherson struts and it rides on 17 inch wheels with 205-55R 17 inch tires. Ticker model has a panoramic sunroof. Like the chrome door handles, uh, this does have the sweep your hand across the sensor here with the key fob in your pocket to lock it. And then you do have the sensor on the back of the door handle to slide your hand right in and it unlocks the door. I like the brush stainless around uh, the trim of the vehicle. I like the LED tail lights, nice detailing there. Like I said, this is the all wheel drive. This is the 4 Let's take a look at the trunk space. You can see the dual exhaust. Very well done. Nice cut line along the belt line. And it does give you uh, the typical dramatic styling that Mercedes Benz is known for. And of course, that star in the grill and the wreath crest star on the hood. This is the 2019 Mercedes-Benz A220. All right, so here we are on the inside of the brand new Mercedes-Benz A220. I will give you a quick shot of the interior here. We got the doors. I like the silver accents right here. It's not a speaker, it's just actually a piece of trim. Speakers down here. Okay. That's the rear trunk release down there. And there you have power lumbar in addition to your uh, standard Mercedes-Benz power seat controls. Heated seat. There are a couple of things about this particular car that I, that really jumped to my attention. Okay, first of all, you're gonna see Mercedes-Benz new, um, it's, it's a split screen. Um, the split happens about right here and starts, the next screen starts about right here. So I don't know if anything actually shows up in the middle, but there's actually two physical screens in one housing. Um, I'd love to see that for real and be able to play with all that technology. Um, but there are a couple of things that uh, really stand out for me on this particular vehicle, the uh, the A220. So the first one, uh, the first thing that really stood out to me is called uh, pre-safe sound. And what that is, if the uh, rear sensing the rear collision sensing system in the car senses a, a a collision the stereo automatically emits a pink sound which prevents you from hearing loud noises so you don't have any trauma related to loud noises in crashes which I, that is the first i've ever heard of it okay the second thing they had and or they have in here is called pre-safe plus Okay, and then again, with the rear sensing, uh, the rear collision sensing system, um, it will, of course, uh, pre-tension the seat belts, but will also uh, engage the brake uh, and hold it if you are at a standstill instead of you're, you're moving, uh, helping to prevent less damage into other vehicles and having a secondary collision, but will automatically hold the brake for you. And that's just some pretty pretty awesome things. And then the third thing that I thought was really neat uh, and unique, and this is, uh, yeah, again, uh, well, three things I hadn't heard of. Well, then the third one is um, crosswind, uh, let's see, what do Mercedes call it? Crosswind assist. And that is when, that is when the vehicle senses you have a crosswind and it'll automatically break one side of the car to, to, to prevent you from you know, feeling that push over and to assist you with handling it. Never seen crosswind protection. 
before. That is quite unique. So, other than that, you've got your um, trackpad down here along with your home buttons. You've got um, some physical buttons for your uh, infotainment system down here. Dual climate control back here. Okay. I love the three air vents in a row. That I just I, I just like the looks of that. All right, let's take a look at the back. All right, so in the back of the A220, it is a, it is obviously smaller. This is a, a small size car here. Um, yet the, the seats are comfortable. They are contoured a little bit. You can kind of see. Let's see if I can. So right here, and I, and it's on on each edge, and you do feel that when you sit in the seat. You do have uh, netted uh, seat pockets on the back of the passenger and driver's seat, right down here. I do have about um, three inches, to, to a good two inches of leg room, um, uh, so that isn't bad. The seat is in the same position I left it in when I was in front. I honestly thought I'd be more cramped than that. Mercedes does a really nice job of kind of taking the middle of the seat and pushing it inwards so you'd actually have more leg room. Okay. Uh, down here, you've got your standard air vents. And then you have, if I pull this open, you have dual USBs. And these are the newer type of USBs. And then a little change holder down there. I'm 5 foot 11 and a half, and I do have a couple of inches of space right here much more room than I thought there would be.